Right about now you're thinking, this crystal structure stuff, it's not that bad. Well, it does get harder. The next type of metal crystal structure is hexagonal close packed. Okay, Hexagonal close packed. The crystal structure looks like the one that's shown here. You've got atoms um, along the top in black. We call this a basal plane, this flat plane there with the atoms in a sort of hexagon, right? With one in the center. That's on the top and that's on the bottom. And then in the middle, you've got this little triangle of atoms. So the first question is, this is, a this is a hexagon, so what's the smallest unit cell here? Right? Most students, when they see this, they want to call this whole thing the unit cell. But that's not the smallest unit cell. There's a smaller one. What would it be? The smallest unit cell is actually this one right there. See that? That parallel pipette? That is our smallest unit cell. And you can see that the small unit cell, they've labeled it on this diagram. You now no longer have one edge length that you have to worry about. You've got two edge lengths. You've got C, right? That's one lattice parameter. And you have a different lattice parameter, A, right there. right? So you have A and C that you have to know. If you're going to define this crystal structure, you'd have to know both A and C, not just A. right? So calculating A and C in terms of the radii is actually a little bit tricky. We're going to do it for a homework problem this week. Um, it's a little bit more challenging because the geometry gets more tricky than it is in the cubic system. Okay. Again, we call the top and bottom unit cells of this structure the basal plane. So this plane up here, that is the basal plane. Likewise, this plane down here is the basal plane in the, in the hexagonal crystal system. Okay. Here's a question. What is the coordination number in this structure? Okay, let's think about it. Well, consider this atom right here. How many atoms is it coordinated by? First off, we know right now that it's not drawn to scale right here, that the atoms are going to be larger, they're going to be touching. So it's at least coordinated by six around it. But what about these three guys below it? They are directly, it's sitting directly in the middle of those three, right? So this is a metal system then it's going to be also touching those three below it and three above it. So it's got six around it, three below, three above. Its coordination number is also 12, just like face-centered cubic. Okay. So even though it doesn't look like a cubic system, it actually has some commonalities. It has the exact same coordination number. And if you calculate the atomic packing factor, you'll find that its atomic packing factor is also equal to 0.74 it has exactly the same packing factor as the cubic system, uh, which is pretty rad. The reason why this is, is because they're both close-packed system. 